Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Got about two pounds worth of beef chuck here all chopped up. I need to marinate it with some jalapeno. Some chopped garlic. And a little mixture I've got here, hoisin, soy, and cumin. Now we're going to get up to our wrists and meat here, give it a good toss. Make sure everything's incorporated, give it about a 15 minute to 30 minute marinade. Now the rice, we can get going now. As you can see, mine's already cooked, but it takes about 20 minutes, so it's good to start it at the beginning. Now, get yourself a hot skillet. Add some oil, your favorite, I'm using peanut, and take that beef chuck, that marinated beef chuck can go right in it. Start dividing it up here, and make sure it covers the whole skillet so it can cook evenly. Just like this, this is a perfect example. Now, as far as the vegetables go, so you can see we got the freshest ingredients. We got some romas, we got the onion, the cilantro, and this beautiful red and yellow pepper. Now, we'll dice them all up, leave the tomatoes big, the onions long, and the uh, peppers short and sweet. We got some cilantro over there as you can see. But we're not going to use all of it at once. We're going to cook it at different times. So we're going to put the peppers, the onions, all in one bowl. See? Nice and pretty. Those need to cook a little longer than these two. We'll add these at the end. Melted butter in a hot skillet. And we're going to add your average frozen hash browns. Spread it out evenly once again. Do a medium high heat. Just let them sit. Now back to the uh, beef chuck. Give it a good stir. Make sure that it's all cooked out. As you can see, there's some liquid in the bottom. We want to separate that out. That's why I'm pushing it all to one side here. And I'm going to go ahead and tilt up this skillet and run out the liquid and throw that out. It's true that we're losing a little bit of the flavor, but we're also losing most of the fat. Now with the hash browns, give them a good toss. Flip them over so they can get crispy on the other side. Now just like a french fry, you want to salt these so they're not so bland. So we're going to go ahead and shaky shaky over the top of these. Get back over to the meat here because now that we've divided it up, we can add the vegetables. And we've got the oil thrown down, we've got the veggies in there, and we're going to flip that around and saute it a little bit. Okay. Now a couple sauces you want to put over the top is soy. And we're going to use balsamic vinegar. And I'll give it a little bit of sweetness. Now you're not going to use any salt with this because the soy is going to take the place of that. So just make sure you mix all this evenly and get ready to throw in some pepper. And another toss. Now's a good time to add those fresh tomatoes. Now we're going to just stir those in there. And now is a good time to kill the heat so the tomatoes don't overcook. We want those fresh. We'll mix everything else in there. And the remaining heat there will soften up those tomatoes just a little bit, but you don't want them juicy and runny. Add some cilantro. Incorporate that. And then we'll bring in our hash browns. And if you're using french fries, it's the same thing. Just throw in your french fries instead. But this is Lomo Saltado with hash browns. And you'll see it's just as good. See there? We'll go ahead and scoop that up so we can serve. And there you have it. Big old bowl of rice in the middle and Lomo Saltado all around it. Right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.